welcome back to Operation Reconciliation. My name is Jasmine, and today we are going to be um, doing an interview with my little brother. Go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is James, but I go by the name Trey. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how old you are. Uh, I'm 11 years old. And what's your favorite thing to do? Well, my favorite thing to do is sports. I run track. I got a lot of medals. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So today we're going to be interviewing him about the first time he went to Africa, specifically Tanzania. For so you, Trey, is what was your reaction to finding out you're going to Africa for the first time? Well, I'll. I was surprised. <laughs> My dad uh, showed me that there were two James on the list, and I was like, "On the tickets, right?" Well, yeah, on the mm -hmm. tickets, and I was like, "Is my big brother going?" <laughs> and then he said, "No," and I was like, <gasps> ah! <laughs> "So that's when I found out. I was excited." <laughs> Okay, okay. All right. So the second question is, what were your thoughts about Africa before the trip? Well, I thought there would be like no zero technology and like homeless people on the streets, but neither of that was <laughs> right. So why do you think that about Africa? Well, because like, so I watched some uh some commercials and they show like African people being on the streets, African kids being on the streets. No one has homes. So that's uh, why so that what shaped your uh perception of Africa? Okay. Alright. So what was your first impression or thought when you finally arrived in Tanzania, Africa? I was like, hmm, this is calming. Well, that's it. <laughs> it's always it calming. Calming. Yeah. calming. So calming. Anything else? Hmm. Nope, that was it. Okay. It was just calming. Okay. So tell me about the area that we stayed in. We stayed in uh, a village with a uh, pastor. Mm -hmm, with a bishop. Yeah, yeah, a bishop. The people were nice. Very nice. Okay. So what, uh, so we stayed in the village, but what tribe did we stay around? Uh, we stayed around the Maasai. Is that how I say it? Maasai? Yeah, Maasai. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's talk about what we did while we were in Tanzania and what you did at the church and the school that we visited? Well, at the school, uh, they gave us a lot of presents. <laughs> then I think after that, we, well, I, uh, I talked to kids a little about track and the drills and stuff. Mm -hmm. How to run with form, perfect form. Yeah, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. The churches are fun. Like, I'd love to go to those every day. So what was different in the church than over here? The church was made out of brick and, well, I don't know. I don't really, I don't really remember much. What kind of dances did they do? Oh, uh, they were, uh, well, I don't know what the dances are called, but they're like uh, jumping around, kind of like a conga line <laughs> sort of thing. Mm. Do you want to demonstrate? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cool. I think the bananas were different. Weren't there like red bananas? Oh, yeah. Banana the bananas were really good. Yes. They were so good. Yeah, I believe it was red bananas. Yeah, right? Mm-hmm. Donuts? I think like something like donuts. Yeah, I forgot what they're called those. though. And then we ate ugali. Remember you ugali? Chipati. 
Oh. Mm. Okay. So, how did you feel leaving Tanzania, Africa, and the friends you made? I, we all burst into tears. All of us. I was so sad. That's a good connection, sir. Yeah. So, is there anything else you felt when you were living there? Well, when we left the place we were living in, we went to this beach kind of thing. It was fun. We went to a prison island. Are you talking about uh, Zanzibar? Yeah, Zanzibar. Mm-hmm. We went to the prison island, the sand bay. Nakupenda? Yeah, Maku, Makupenda. Nakupenda. Nakupenda? Yeah. Wasn't so what was your favorite, your most favorite thing about Africa, Tanzania, Africa specifically? Well, I liked how the people were so friendly. I mean, they may stare at you, but they, they're they not trying to start a challenge like, like we do here. <laughs> they're just curious. So like, like how people were friendly there? Yes. What else? Uh, the food, I really loved f- the food. I wish we could bring some with us. Yeah, the fruit was excellent. The fruit was on point. <laughs> really good. It's, it's more sweeter. It's way more sweeter than the fruits here. Like you can tell they here they put a lot of you know chemicals on their fruits here to make it bigger. And did you miss anything else about Africa or? The water? The water was kind of different. The, the Talking about water, the beach? Or? No, the water. Oh. The water we drink. Oh. The it was kind of different. Would you like it? Yes. You liked it? Okay. All right. Is there anything else or is that it? That's oh, it. yeah. The friends we made. Oh, my gosh. They were so fun. We played this little soccer game. Mm-hmm. Maybe they call it football. Yeah, game. football. And uh, chips are called crisps. No. Wait, no, wait, no. You mean fries are called? Cho- yeah. Fries are called chips? Yeah, fries are called chips. So yeah, I, feel I know like, you enjoyed those a lot. <laughs> I feel like, uh, I feel like the USA just took some, took something and then made it a different name. <laughs> well, that was the end of the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed the interview. You guys stay tuned for more videos to come on Operation Reconciliation. And we are done. Bye. Bye.